I like to call this look the it's too f***ing hot outside, I don't give a f don't judge me special. What up internet, Corinne here and you're watching Corinne vs. Cooking? Pin? I don't really know anymore. Chocolate? Sure, let's go with that. Corinne vs. Chocolate. Now some of you may already know that white chocolate is not my favorite thing in the world. Well, I have another truth bomb to drop on you. Milk chocolate sucks too. Yeah, I said it. If I'm going to consume chocolate, I want it to be dark and bitter, like my heart. Some of you may be saying to yourself right now, who gives a fuck? I could care less about your goddamn chocolate preferences. Well, there is a point, okay? And that point is, is that a lot of you have been suggesting that I try to make chocolate cigarettes and I have a couple questions for you. What and why? Yeah, I have no idea what the f a chocolate cigarette is, so I had to look that shit up. I found several different variations of them, the first being a very fancy French technique involving a marble slab. These are pretty cool, I guess. They're used for decorating cakes, but I wouldn't really call it a cigarette. Next, I found this YouTuber who tries to replicate the chocolate cigarette candy that was very popular in the 1950s. She does a pretty good job and actually puts a bunch of effort into creating packaging and all that jazz, but I still don't get the point. You gotta peel the paper off the chocolate if you want to eat it. I don't like it. Lastly, there's this guy who just basically reviews a chocolate flavored cigarette. Now, I think it is my DIY duty, duty, to try to replicate all three of these things. So let's get started, shall we? <laughs> so what happens when you smoke too many chocolate cigarettes, kids? Okay, all right, okay. So the first thing I had to do was order a marble slab because I don't have one of those and none of the stores in my general vicinity carried them. Thank God for prime shipping because this shit is heavy as fuck. Hashtag not sponsored, by the way. As I mentioned before, it's fucking hot outside right now and that doesn't really bode well for chocolate projects. So I got my AC pumping and I, I'm dealing with this shitty air conditioner situation because I live in a hundred year old house. It's also humid as f outside. So I'm really not sure if this is gonna work. We're gonna give it the old college try though. Girl, I don't even know how the f*** sitting outside. Are you hot? A little bit. You've been wearing that shirt for like three days. All right, I got my chocolate here, and now I just have to melt it, and then you're supposed to wait a while and stir it until it cools down enough not to f***ing burn your lip like an idiot. Yeah, I think I have to wait a little while longer. Mm-hmm, yep, that's a little better, but geez, this sh is terrible tasting. Hmm, maybe 100% cacao is not the right decision. I didn't really understand that when I was buying this stuff. <laughs> I guess that means there's no sugar in it. I get it now, whoops. So I'm just gonna keep stirring and stirring and this is pretty much my sad attempt at tempering chocolate. I'm sure there's probably better ways to do this, but you can make your own goddamn YouTube video if you have a problem with it. I also wasn't really sure how cool I was supposed to let it get. I guess this is good. Sure, why not? Now I'm just gonna slather it on the marble slab as concisely as I can muster. But you know what? This looks like shit, like literal shit. And now that's all I can think about. Poop on a marble slab. Chocolatiers must have the minds of steel because I don't think I'd be able to do this job on a daily basis without constantly reverting to five-year-old poop jokes. It also is not hardening at all, so I think that's a problem. Rob mentioned maybe putting it in the fridge, but you know what? This thing's not gonna fit in the fucking fridge. So I'm gonna turn on my fucking amazing DIY ingenuity and try it again on the back of a cooking tray sheet thing. What is this? called anyway. Now, I'm just gonna pop it in the freezer for a bit. One of those motherfuckers right there, dude. I'm trying to block my passage. <laughs> Fuck you, motherfucker. Can you do the thing for me? Hey, you're the best. Big one over in the corner. Oh yeah, he's moving. He's on the move. He's on the move. What do you need me to do? Um, get the thing. Here, you can just pass it to me out of the freezer. Oh, he's a big one. Yeah, that one's a big one. Very okay. quick, like a bunny. Both of these things? Just the one. The other one's left over from the mirror cake. Thanks. 
Um, hmm. I don't think it being all dewy is a good sign. Because as we all know, water and chocolate don't really get along. Maybe if I just wipe it down a bit. Sure. Okay, here we go. This is exciting. Time to use the scraper and, well... <laughs> I don't really know why I was so confident. This didn't work at all. Maybe the stuff on the marble slab hardened some. Nope. Okay, well f Guess I have to move on to the good old sucking it into a straw approach. Even though plastic straws are the devil. Yeah, and now into the freezer they go. After I put the straws in the freezer, I went to bed because I was tired. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I found that the chocolate had hardened. I left the air conditioner on all night because it was hot as a motherfucker in here. So I'm thinking I should have waited a little longer before I scraped the chocolate off the marble slab. But I think it's not usable anymore for tempering because it is what the chocolatier is called bloomed. So I'm gonna go out and get some more chocolate from my favorite tea shop because they sell the best chocolate in the whole wide world. That's right, I got my vegan, gluten free, low glycemic, 88% cacao chocolates, cacao -a bunga. Am I right? <clears throat> yes. Now, I just have to melt this batch. Uh, yeah, this thing is so fucking heavy. I also have been letting the marble slab sit in the direct line of air conditioning to get it super cool. And learning from my prior mistakes, I'm gonna let this batch cool a lot longer. Unfortunately, I think I waited just a little too long because as soon as I put it on the slab, it pretty much hardened right away and I wasn't able to smooth it out as thin as I would have liked. And yeah, chocolate cigarettes were not achieved. I am feeling a little bit more confident now though. So I'm melting this chocolate again and giving it another go. Woo, lifting this thing is a fucking workout. Okay, yeah, I didn't let the chocolate cool as much this time, and you know what? It is smoothing out a lot easier. It just took a little longer for it to harden enough, and I kind of almost achieved a spherical shape. Pretty cool. The rest, on the other hand, did not work out. One more try, and I think I'll be able to pull it off. Nope, actually, more like fail at everything in life. This chocolate cigarette making process is beyond my fucking reach. Let's see how those straws are doing, huh? Yep, nice and hard. Now, I just have to cut them down with an X-Acto blade and then push the chocolate out of the straw with a bamboo skewer. It actually started melting super quickly, so I made sure to put it back in the freezer as soon as I popped it out of the straw. Then I released a few more from their straw chambers and very carefully wrapped each one of them with a rolling paper. F***ing Brills McGills, y'all. By the way, I bought these specifically for this project. Totally don't usually have rolling papers or anything. Yeah, they look pretty good, don't they? I still don't get the point though. I still don't get the point. It might be kind of funny if you pull one of these out of a real cigarette pack and just start eating it, paper and all. People will definitely think you are a little weird. I made these ones with the 100% cacao. Okay, so I know smoking is bad for you and everything, and you should never do it, but I would be remiss if I didn't try to roll up a real chocolate cigarette. So just gonna grind up some cacao nibs and roll them on up. Huh, I'm pretty good at this rolling stuff, especially since this is my first time ever rolling up anything. Mm. It's making me a little lightheaded. Well, that's all for this week, kids! As always, leave your project suggestions in the comments down below! <laughs> yeah, make sure to like up this video, subscribe, and follow me on Snapchat, because I'm all up in that shit now! The olds are invading! Watch out, kids! Until next time!